Good evening. Glad you're with us tonight. And an Oklahoma City councilman is charged with embezzling about $150,000 supposedly belonging to charity organizations. And the district attorney says Councilman John Pettis' crimes date all the way back to 2009. Our Bonnie Campo has the details. She joins us live right now outside council chambers. Bonnie? The investigation into Pettis bank accounts starts in April of 2017. An unnamed tipster contacts the Oklahoma City Police Department alleging criminal behavior. Pettis now faces three counts of embezzlement. In the first case, investigators say Pettis withdrew over $25,000 from the Southern Leadership Enhancement Center. That organization set up to assist the impoverished community who lack the skills necessary to gain employment and participate in society. The second investigation circles around the Oklahoma Institute for Minority Affairs. This time, the district attorney's office says Pettis withdrew over $25,000 in cash and checks. Their mission to help social, economic, and civil development for people of color as well as women's groups in Oklahoma. In the third count, over $1,000 from the Rhonda K. Hudson Foundation, which raises money for the awareness for triple negative breast cancer. But that's not all. Pettis also faces one count of failing to file income tax returns spanning the years of 2009 to 2017. Court documents state the Oklahoma Tax Commission has no record that John Pettis Jr. has ever filed an Oklahoma tax return. In fact, his business, PHA Consulting Inc., was suspended by the OTC in 2016, again citing taxes were never paid. Investigators say that Pettis nor his attorney gave any insight to what they found and say they don't have any comment on those discrepancies. John Pettis told us moments ago that he has no comment in terms of the case, and we just heard from the city, and they say that these charges are not related to his service. Live on the scene on the story in downtown Oklahoma City, Bonnie Campo, News 9.